everyone, welcome. If you are new here, my name is Kara, and you will quickly find that I love sharing about education. I love all things learning, schooling, education in general. I love, love, love it. I greatly enjoy teaching my own children at home currently, and I love to share resources and help other people learn how to teach their children at home as well. One great way to do that is just by doing life together. There is just so much to learn in life, and I want to help you see that. So today I invite you to join me and I am about to get real nerdy about sweet tea. So come and let's see. Before we dive in, I wanted to say how much I truly believe that learning should be fun. It is my biggest goal to teach my child and she not even know that she is learning. I want her to love learning. I want to encourage her to become a lifelong learner. And I love incorporating things that are going on in the real world or things that are going on in our home um, and connecting that to academics. I think that it's extremely important for children to see that connection of the things that we are learning at school and the things that are happening in the real world. Why am I learning this math? How am I going to use it in the real world? Right, that is a big question that so many of us have and I want uh, children to see that because it makes our learning that much more meaningful, right? It's, it puts meaning to what we are learning, why we are learning. Okay, so why did I say we were going to talk about sweet tea today? Well, sweet tea happens to be my favorite drink. I love sweet tea. I am a typical Southern girl, love me some sweet tea. So the other day, I wanted to make a gallon of sweet tea uh, to have in our refrigerator. So my four-year-old was there and I said, you know what, why don't you come and help me make some sweet tea? Uh, occasionally, we let her have a glass or two here and there. Um, so I just thought it would be appropriate, hey, come help, help mom in the kitchen and we'll learn how to make sweet tea together. Uh, and my 21 month old ended up joining us as well and there was quite a bit that she could learn in that process as well. So I thought that I would show you how taking a simple task like making sweet tea, you children learn so much just from a simple task like that in the kitchen. Um, I wrote down some suggestions of some academic skills that you could incorporate into an activity like making sweet tea. Um, so for those with little ones, so my 21 month old, um, she could learn about colors because we had lemon. So she learned about yellow lemons, brown tea, that the water was clear. Um, we tasted, right? So we can taste the sugar taste the lemons, taste the tea. Um, I let her take a tea bag and she could pull on the string, right? That is a fine motor skill, pulling on that. If she ended up pulling the string off, that's okay. You can still make sweet tea, right? Um, we talked about hot and cold, right? So she knows like, oh, that tea, it was hot and the ice was cold or the water was cold or a warm temperature. Um, we could also count because I put six bags, um, six tea bags of sweet tea to make um, our sweet tea and we counted the bags, right? Super easy, super simple, something that a, a small young child could learn. Uh, but there's also other things that older kids can learn too. I'm talking like from young, like my 21 month old, all the way through high school. There's tons that can be incorporated in here. So um, they can read recipes. You can have them write their own recipe. Um, they could read labels, do some research, uh, math, measuring, fractions, time, 
accounting uh, money. I'll tell you, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, science, we could talk about our five senses because uh, we definitely use our nose, our mouth, our eyes, and our touch in making sweet tea. Uh, we could talk about high versus low temperatures. What about boiling? When does something boil? Um, we could talk about mixtures and solutions. Uh, like I said, the boiling water. Uh, what does that look like? What would that feel like? Um, how do we make water boil? We could talk about melting ice and the health and nutrition of sweet tea. As for the, we, in our home, we can talk about cleaning up after we're done making it, how to wash dishes if we use dishes, uh, how to work the stove. So on this dial, what would be considered a high temperature? Where's the low temperature? How exactly does it work? Where does it get hot? All of that. Uh, you can incorporate some business aspects, right? Um, and I can talk about that in a second. Uh, history and geography, like where did sweet tea originate? Where did it come from? Uh, does everyone drink sweet tea? Uh, and I also, for our activity, incorporated uh, a little Bible connection. I That is somewhere that I'm kind of weak in because growing up, I didn't have uh, Bible teaching per se. I didn't go to Sunday school all the time, and I didn't. Um, we didn't talk about Bible stories or anything like that at home. Uh, we did go to church, but that was about it. Uh, so that's something that I'm passionate about, and I want to show my children on uh, different connections that we can make with the Bible. So for this activity, I, we ended up talking about um, 1 Peter uh, 4, verses 8 through 9. Um, it says, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Offer hospitality to one another without grumbling. So by making sweet tea, we can show others, show them that we love them, show hospitality. Because when we are home and invite someone over, if we have a gallon of sweet tea made in our refrigerator, we can offer that um, as something special to our guest. Or we can invite someone over to have a tea party, right? And add snacks into it and talk and have fun together, maybe play a game. Um, there, there's lots of things that you can do and it plays into hospitality. So um, I also have some probing questions that you can ask that will also engage their minds and get them thinking. So some of the questions that I came up with um, to ask could be, is the lemon sweet or sour? Maybe if they're learning that difference. Uh, is it is sweet tea better hot or cold and that could be an opinion right you don't some people might prefer it hot uh, what happens when you put the ice in the tea does everyone drink sweet tea do people in other countries drink sweet tea where does it come from can I buy it anywhere is sweet tea healthy do you like it better with lemon or without how many slices can we get from one lemon? How much do the ingredients cost? How many glasses can we pour from one gallon? <clears throat> Where do they sell sweet tea? How can we serve others using sweet tea? Could we invite friends over for tea and snacks? Where do the leaves, the tea leaves come from? What do they look like? Why do we put the tea leaves in these little tiny bags? Can we make the tea without these little tiny bags? Um, are there different ways to make sweet tea? Um, I just think it's amazing that my four-year-old, but just by cutting lemons to put into our sweet tea, learned fractions. We had a whole lemon, we cut it in half, we had two halves, then we cut those halves again, we had fourths. I mean, she learned fractions and she had no idea. I just think that is amazing. Um, for the older students, you can really get into the business aspect of uh, sweet tea. Like, what are the cost of goods? How much would you sell it for? Um, what would be your profits and your mar your margins? Um, would there be a loss? Uh, where would you sell it? Um, do you need to know how to make sweet tea for certain jobs? 
because uh, personally, I worked in the restaurant business for a good portion of my life, and I did need to know how to make sweet tea for that job. So that's an interesting thought there. Um, I put together this little handy dandy um, sheet for you. Talks about all the different subject areas that you could incorporate um, and some questions to ask to help probe um, the learning, right? Um, you, I mean, literally this one activity, you could cover like seven different uh, subject areas, which is just pretty cool. So I will upload this into our private Facebook group called Teaching Children on Purpose. I'll put it in the file section so you can easily download it for free. Or I will also post it on our um, Passion and the Purpose blog. And uh, one of the blog posts, I'll put it on there. You can download it for free uh, in case you don't have Facebook. If you do have Facebook though, I invite you to come and join that group. <laughs> Again, it's Teaching Children on purpose and in there I share lots of free uh, resources that you can take from online or somewhere else and incorporate that into uh, teaching your children at home. So I hope this was an encouragement to you. I hope it got you thinking about different things that you can do within the home to incorporate academics as well. Uh, so anyway, I will see you next time. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.